Number one is bean. Beans like kidney beans, navy beans, lentil, split peas. Beans have a, something in them called resistant starch. And resistant starch doesn't raise the glucose level. It's broken down by bacteria in the colon. And the bacteria in the colon change the resistant starch into short-chain fatty acids. And those fatty acids protect us against colon cancer. Beans promote weight loss. They give us energy. They're high in protein. And they protect us against cancer. And they're linked in the scientific studies to an enhancement of longevity in elderly people. Number two, green vegetables. To be on a healthy diet, we have to eat some raw vegetables and some cooked vegetables. We have to eat green vegetables. Lettuce, salad, cucumbers, cabbage, the broccoli family, all those green vegetables have um, specific compounds that have been shown to protect against breast cancer, prostate cancer, colon cancer, and of course heart attacks and strokes. They're longevity producing foods. If we mix the greens and the beans now with nuts and seeds, right? Almonds, cashews, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, they have almost magical superfoods, protective compounds, that prevent against cardiac arrhythmias, irregular heartbeats. They lower your cholesterol. They make people live longer. They prevent sudden cardiac death. They stabilize the brain. And the healthy fats and seeds and nuts increase the absorption of nutrients from the vegetables and the beans. They also make the protein very complete. So it's not about just eating less fat. It's eating about more of the whole food healthy fats from nuts and seeds. Now nuts and seeds contain a special compound called plant sterols. And these sterols have been shown to lower cholesterol level and protect against heart attacks. But they also have a dramatic effect to protect against cancer as well. So what I do is we take some sesame seeds and maybe we'll mix it with an orange and make a dressing or a dip to put on a salad, right? Or we'll throw some seeds and nuts with some tomato sauce and we'll make a dressing, we'll make some kind of dressing or a sauce. In other words, using nuts and seeds as part of your dressings and dips is a very important part of excellent nutrition. Last, fresh fruit like oranges and berries and kiwis also contains various compounds, phenols and anthocyanins, special compounds that protect against various cancers and are important for good health. And lastly, of course, whole grains like sorghum, wild rice, brown rice, whole grain rices, whole oats, whole barley. Think whole grains, not processed white flour, not white rice and white flour, but using more whole grains. So we know now that the more vegetables and fruits and beans and nuts and seeds eaten, the longer people live and the lower the risk of heart attacks and strokes and cancers. Now, in addition to preventing these chronic diseases later on in life, it also can help people have better function in school, more attention, more alertness, more protection against diseases like, like influenza, like the flu. When we have the right kind of nutrients in our body, we're not going to get sick as often. So we have to appeal to our governors and our government, our educators and our teachers and our farmers. We have to all work together as a team to bring healthy food into the schools to bring healthy plant foods into our homes. We're not talking about adding a little bit of fruits and vegetables to your present diet. We're talking about making fruits and vegetables the major portion of your diet. And then we'll have a healthy nation, and then we'll have a healthy population to live a long life free of medical tragedies. To conclude, on the beautiful Jeju Islands and many other fertile areas of South Korea, we have a, a unique opportunity in human history. This is a blessing. We have science and information that can enable us to live better and to live healthier and to live longer than ever before in human history. Let's take advantage of, your, of the natural bounty of the land and have, and have one of the healthiest places in the whole world.